<laughs> Y'all know what it is. We, we kind of did a, a brief overview of this before we started recording, uh, but can you talk about the difference between um, a hydrogen combustion engine and a hydrogen fuel cell and how it works? I know that, uh, you know, there was that, there's been videos of the guys that, you know, um, create a combustion engine out of their old truck and burn hydrogen and, and say, oh, we're making, you know, there's no downside to doing this and we're running off of water and it just puts water out in the back. But I've also heard that by doing a combustion engine, uh, it emits nitrous oxide. Is that correct? And um, what are the downsides of doing the combustion versus a fuel cell system? Well, there's, there's upsides and downsides to both, which is interesting. So internal combustion engines have been around, around for, you know, hundred and something years. Uh, they're very well understood and they're relatively cheap. So you can convert your standard diesel engine to, to run on hydrogen. And you can run it on hydrogen, which isn't particularly particularly clean. The downside there is it's not the most efficient way to to use your fuel. So the amount of energy you have in your hydrogen, you may be getting to 30, 40% max coming out of your crankshaft in your in your car. However, doing a conversion is relatively cheap. And there are some really interesting companies out there like the likes of Ulemco who are converting uh, diesel vehicles to be dual fuel. So run on hydrogen and um, and uh, on diesel, which is really, really, uh, really nice. So if you already have an existing fleet and it's only a couple of years old and you don't really want to replace anything and invest in new technology, then going down that route is fine. It also means that when you don't have the ability to refuel on hydrogen, you can carry on using diesel. In terms of hydrogen fuel cells, that's a different technology. It's, it's a lot newer. Uh, I mean, hydrogen fuel cells, I think, uh, were used in the Apollo mission, but they were very primitive to what you, you get today. But now you can get a 100 kilowatt fuel cell in your, in your vehicle. Um, in your uh, Toyota uh, Mirai. And essentially it takes air on one side, um, passes the air on one side of the, the fuel cell. You have a tank of high pressure hydrogen in, in, in the back. So that's uh, 700 bar, so about 700 atmospheres pressure in, in carbon fiber tanks uh, pass through a valve. And uh, essentially the, um, there's a chemical reaction across the fuel cell, oxygen on one side, hydrogen on the other, um, hydrogen passes across, generates water, and meanwhile there's electricity generated in a current and that electricity is tapped off. And once your electricity is tapped off, everything else there is essentially the same as uh, your battery electric vehicle. So hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are electric vehicles, it's just that energy is not stored in a, in a battery, it's stored in a chemical fuel which is hydrogen, and it's released by being passed, uh, passed through a fuel cell.